Hi everyone, Fenris Models here, and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Man in Space set from a and Models. So yeah, this is the Man in Space set. It has, as you can see right here, it's going to have five different rockets in here. Um, we have the Saturn V and 1B, the Mercury Redstone and Atlas, and the Gemini Titan II. Um, I got this on eBay for, I don't, I'm not going to try to remember, like 20 something dollars I want to say. Um, it was a nice little find. Um, you can see the, the box is kind of banged up a bit, but um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look in the inside. As you can see, all of the plastic is molded in white. Um, it's kind of a... I don't know how, how, how to phrase it. <laughs> like, it, it doesn't feel, I wouldn't say brittle necessarily, but it's, um, yeah, brittle's the phrasing I'm gonna go with. Um, but, I don't know, we'll see how well it builds up. But first, and as you can see, um, there's a couple parts that have fallen off the sprue. So I put them in this little baggie here, but everything is here from what I can tell, so. That is a good thing. We're actually going to start with the goodie that came in this. This thing is one of the things I'm actually kind of really excited about to put together. Um, for diorama purposes, it has a little fold out cardboard cutout of the Ugh. Didn't think this through. <laughs> but yeah, so this all punches out. Um, you can see up here some directions on how to put it all together. But essentially, you can build out your own um, um, oh god, why am I blanking on the phrase? The launch pad, but like, wow, I, I, <laughs> that just failed me for a minute. Um, but yeah, so it looks like like you have this in the background there. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that bit. So, next up we do have the instructions. So as you can see, we have the five rockets. Um, let's actually hold this up so the camera can focus on it. So we have our five rockets. And we also have the Apollo um, spacecraft as well. So, you know, to go with the two Saturns. And this is just the decal placement, which while we're here, might as well take a look at them. So these are the decals. Um, they're from a company called Round Two. Um, I don't actually know much about them. Um, by name anyway um, <laughs> maybe I do but so I mean they, they look pretty in pretty good condition um, right I didn't need to mention um, that this kit is from the I'm actually gonna put it up on the screen here I, I can't remember if it was from from the 70s or the 80s is when the molding was made but um, if you take a look in here um, actually, it says round two in there as well. Let me get the focus going. Okay. Go. Um, so maybe that's the original manufacturer, actually. I'm not sure. But um, it does have uh, 2012 in there. So that was when this particular version of the kit was, was printed. So um, I am expecting a little bit of flash and that kind of a thing. Um, Then we have our instructions. They have they included four, but um, let's see what do we got. We got Spanish and Portuguese, German, French and Italian, and of course English, which is the one we're gonna take a look at. And here we go. I'm claiming AMT there. So it starts off with the Gemini Titan, and you know, gives us a nice little little blurb about the uh, the rocket itself 
Um, so it's a quick little build. Just a couple parts. And I expect that for all of these. So there's the Saturn 1B. I'll explode a diagram part, but yeah. So again, blurb for each one of them. We got the Mercury Atlas. And the Mercury Redstone, which is <laughs> very simple. Um, and then we got the blurb about the Saturn V is actually down here to give us a whole page on it. Did I? Hmm. Actually, it doesn't have the. The um Apollo rocket on uh, um, uh, space man on it. Ah. So we do have let's get that let's focus up again. So it does look like a little bit of stuff on here on the side as well. Yeah, and you can see, as I said, the box was pretty, was pretty beat up. Um, yeah, that's interesting that it doesn't specifically have the spacecraft. But now we can get into the sprues. And I can't tell, um, bring that focus back down. Um, I can't tell if the sprues are separated by rocket or not, um, but yeah, you see that's where that fell off, that's going to be a pain to clean up, it looks like it dug a little bit in, but eh, nothing a little putty won't fix, we got some weird flash right there. But, let's see if we can get this guy to play nice. It's really hard to see in the, with the white, um, but there's some really nice little fine details. Um, it's all raised, well, at least those are raised anyway, raised panel lines. But on some of them, they are recessed, so. Um, looks like it's a little bit of a, of a mix of both. Let's set aside those. Those are the ones that fell off. Let's take a look at And now, I'm not 100% sure what all the parts are, so I'm not going to try <laughs> to, to, um... Um, you know, say what they are, but we'll at least take a look at them. Oh, wow, that's warped. So you can get that. You see how warped that is? Nothing a little bit of hot water won't fix, but man, wow. On the spoon, it's supposed to be flat like that anyway. Um, you can see a good bit of flashing up there, so that's going to take some cleaning. But, nothing's actually horribly bad. You know, no nothing that I would um, just nope out of. There's things I'm not looking forward to cleaning up, but nothing, nothing super terrible. Oh, and then I did notice that I didn't point out right before setting that down, is that it does... I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to focus on this. This is the white. But um, right here it does say Redstone Mercury, Atlas Mercury, Gemini Titan, so... It does look like all of the parts are mixed. 
um, and they are not separate by um, by rocket, which I was kind of hoping for. Make things a little bit easier, but what you gonna do? <laughs> That didn't cut. There we go. Again. And it's interesting that just some of them are raised panel lines, some of them are recessed, and if I'm not mistaken, what I think I think it is, um, this is being a collection of, um, a kit, I want to say, and I'd have to look, you know, look this up to, to say it with any sort of confidence, um, that's interesting, um, but I want to say that each of the rockets were printed separately on their own as their own kits, and then they came out with this, where they just kind of combined them, so if that's the case, I would not at all be surprised um, I would not at all be surprised to find a mixture of quality of parts and again specifically mentioning those raised and recessed panel lines that we're getting Some of them, the number of the part is actually printed on the inside of the plastic as opposed to on all the look eight, which is interesting. Um, I just want to see if I can do something. No, no, don't have anything by. I was gonna see if I could like highlight the numbers for you, but because this this camera is just not picking it up with that white. I can kind of see right there. Anyway. Then we got the big boys. Yeah, like, see, this one I'm not seeing much flash, although on this right here and I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there or if that is a short shot like it just didn't fill in all the way um, cause I don't know why it would be there otherwise for the Saturn V. So yeah. All in all, I am looking forward to this build. Um, I'm not sure how exactly I'm gonna uh, display it yet, if I'm going to focus on just one you know, on that, that, um, little display that was included and then set up the other four, you know, elsewhere or what I'm going to do yet. Um, however, I am planning on doing a video for each of the rockets. They're not super complex. I mean, again, like the paint scheme, right, is white, black, and gray, <laughs> you know? Um, so they're not going to be terribly difficult builds. Um, they are going to have a lot of cleaning as you saw, um, but I thought this was a unique subject. It's something you don't see terribly often. Um, and I, um, I, I myself uh, really enjoy rocketry. I, um, I've grown up in Florida my whole life. I, you know, have been around uh, the space program in some form or another, again, like my whole life. So being able to actually get around to finally building a um, related piece of kit I am super excited about so um, but yeah so that was a look at what is inside the box on this kit 
Um, and yeah, so stay tuned for the builds on these. I hope you're looking forward to them as much as I am. Um, and stay safe and keep on modeling.